Yo, what's going on YouTube, Apoxy here. So in this video, I decided to break down this image that we got a first look at. And I decided to break this down before I did the trailer because there's actually a few different things in here that some of you might be interested in and that I'm going to go into further detail in another video and kind of do like a pull on. But I'm going to point out some things that we have here. So as you guys can see, we have the lovely Pip-Boy here right there. We got the Vault Boy and that's pretty obvious that it was coming back. And we've also got the laser rifle right here. We've got Brotherhood coming back, so we've got the Brotherhood of Steel and also some armor that looks like it's kind of scavenged a little bit and it kind of looks like you can actually modify your armors, which I'm probably going to go into further in another video, but it kind of does look like you can indeed mod your armor in some way and add like attachments or something. And then it also looks like you can add attachments to your gun, so as you guys can see, it looks like this is a different stock. This looks like a laser sight of some sort. You can see that there's actually a sight on the laser rifle. You can see that there's all these different stocks and everything. And it looks like we're going to be able to modify our weapons even more than we could in Fallout New Vegas, which is absolutely awesome. I loved that feature. So right here, you guys can see a minigun underneath this little draping tarp here. And then we've got a Mr. Gutsy, so those are probably returning. And that's not really much of a surprise. And then it looks like right here, what we have is like a homemade laser rifle of some sort or something of that style because it looks like it has some sort of microfusion cell or something in here or a battery. And honestly, I don't know, it's kind of like mixed with a rifle and an energy weapon. So it could be interesting. We might be able to have like homemade looking weapons. And that was a really large request from a lot of people. And then if we go ahead and check out over here, we can go and see this right here. It looks like there's a ton of different vault boys. And I don't know whether this means we're gonna be able to collect all these different vault boys or whether it's just showing us a bunch of different images. I'm not quite sure on that. You can see that the default radio is returning. And then we've got, of course, the bottle caps that are hanging. And then we also have the Grognak the Barbarian, it looks like, right here. And then also we have a few others. Honestly, I can't really... I never really remember the magazines because I never use them in Fallout anyway. And then we've got the Nuka-Cola machine. I don't know whether this is going to be what it looks like in Boston or not. And if you guys don't know, this game is located in Boston. And then we also have what looks like to be either a 9mm or like a Colt of some sort pistol here. And that looks interesting. This looks like a baseball bat, but it kind of does look a little weird at the end here. But this does indeed look like a baseball bat. And then of course we've got the dog. So a lot of people are saying this is dog meat. I do agree because dog meat has been in multiple Fallout games. He was in Fallout 3. I believe he was in all the originals as well. I could be wrong on that, but I know he was in at least one and then if we go ahead and check out over on the left again, you guys can see we have a unused and unequipped Pip-Boy 3000. And this kind of looks like a brownish goldish. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe you can change the skins. Maybe you can paint it or something like that. Because if you guys go ahead and check this, you might even be able to paint your guns and your armor and your Pip-Boy and so on. Because if you check over here, we've got some paint buckets. So we've got paint here and paint here. And also what looks like to be red paint right here. So red paint green paint, yellow paint, and I think that's it. So that is pretty much everything that I can really point out. And of course, we've got Nuka-Cola bottles and so on. And also one more little thing is this looks like shotgun shells to me. So that of course confirms that shotguns are coming back. It's kind of not really a surprise at all that shotguns would be returning. And then also, just to point out a few useless things, we've got the sugar bombs, and then we've got the Abraxo cleaner, and then we've got, I believe, Tesla mash. This sort of looks like buff out, but I could be completely wrong on that. And then also we've got the original wonder glue here, and then just a few other random items. So, honestly, there are a ton of different, what looks like to be a ton of different miscellaneous items, and the actual rubble and everything looks really nice. And if you guys haven't watched the trailer yet, you should probably do that because it looks absolutely amazing. And honestly, I'm super excited for this game. I hope you guys are too. And I'm going to be covering a ton of content on this until the game actually releases. And then I'm also going to be, uh, of course, covering the game and doing playthroughs and so on when it actually comes out. Doing mod showcases and all that beautiful stuff. 
However, guys, I'm probably going to go into more detail on this image for some of the different items and what could be features in a later video or later videos. And hopefully you guys do enjoy those as well. But anyways, guys, as always, don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.